it varies a lot. I think now very few um, medical schools, if any, score the personal statement um, formally in, in the selection process for interview. Um, it is used in different ways. It might be used, for example, after interview as in sort of a tie break, or it might be used at the interview to, for discussion. It might be one interview station at the interview where um, you might be asked about what you've written in your personal statement. So there are a variety of ways, but I think it's important to remember that it's, it's often not scored formally and it may not be part of the selection process to get to interview. We will read the personal statement beforehand and we will extract particular information that uh, relates to the non-academic criteria that we assess during the interview process. There will generally be a hint about how they do it, if not an explicit explanation on the website about the role of the personal statement in, uh, in judging your application. They'll be interested particularly in, uh, in your extracurricular activities, particularly things which are achievements uh, rather than hobbies. And they're very interested in things like public service. But I think one of the common things that we're all looking for is that students want to be a doctor, that they know what it's like to work as a doctor, the positive and negative aspects of a career in medicine, and the things that they've done to try and develop their personal attributes and develop the skills that would make them a good doctor. It's important to write about things that have had an impact on you, things that you have learned from, to say what you have learned uh, and how you will take that learning forward. I think you need to write with your own voice, but you probably do need a bit of a hand to make sure that it's the right shape and size. Most medical schools are, are, are conscious that a personal statement is not usually just one person's work, uh, but, but it should be written by you and it should authentically be your, your own voice. You can get a trusted person to review it and take out repetitions and mistakes, but it should sound like you and it should say what you want it to say. It needs to be real and it needs to be your own story. I think it's a very difficult thing to do in the short um, words, the number of characters that you have, but it's very easy when you get lots of people's advice about what should be in there to lose yourself. And so I think it's important that, um, that the student somehow keeps themselves in their personal statement.